Hi, Scott Marvin here with Remax Champions, and today I'm going to give you a video tour of 850 Hill Road North. This is a property that I just put on the market. It has been totally rehabbed, top to bottom, bottom to top. Just about everything inside is brand new. So I'm going to hop out of the car here, and we will take a quick tour. Okay, here we go. We're going to head inside. First thing you'll notice is this extra long driveway. And there's a little parking spot over here to the left. Not only do you have a two-car garage, but there's additional parking here right on the left, which makes it also easy to turn around in your driveway if you like. Uh, a couple things here to note on the exterior. Uh, all the trim has been freshly painted. We've got a new garage door, a brand new front door. Front door is yet to be painted. It's been a little cold, so we haven't finished that out on the outside yet. Um, we put in new mulch, okay, the landscaping has been cleaned up, uh, brand new roof, okay, that roof was just added about a month ago, and we put on a dimensional shingle, all right, uh, brick front here, let's go on inside and see what happened on the inside of this property. Okay, here we are on the inside, and if you'll notice right away, this is the family room. This family room has a ceiling fan with a cathedral ceiling. And uh, as you look over here to the left, this is the back door. Brand new sliding patio back door. Um, we do also have a little bit of work left to do here on the deck. That's not quite finished yet, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the backyard on this one. But uh, if you'll notice, there are plenty of trees out back. It's very private. There's a, a little playground area for children. Uh, the yard is fenced in with a chain link fence. Okay. Let's go back over here to the inside and take a look at this fireplace. This fireplace tile was redone. You can see the uh, attention that went into detail here, making it very decorative with the customized tile. Uh, also down here on the bottom. And uh, that is a wood-burning fireplace. Now it can be modified for gas if you like, but this one is designed to burn wood. Do a quick scan around here and let's head over into the kitchen area. I'll notice here, these are the stairs that go down to the basement, how that's open. There's no wall there to close this room in. Everything's wide open and the basement is finished. We'll take a look at that in just one second. A uh, quick scan down here on the floors. Uh, notice the uh, Pergo style floors, hardwood, uh, very beautiful, has a nice sheen, uh, very cozy feel. And uh, these floors don't get that cold in the wintertime either because of the way they're designed. So you can walk on that in your bare feet without any problem at all. Let's take a quick look at this kitchen. This kitchen is amazing. Brand new countertops, brand new cabinets, brand new appliances, brand new sink, brand new faucet. Uh, just a beautiful cherry colored cabinet with a granite look to the, the countertop. It's not actually a granite countertop, but when you look at it, it looks like a granite finish. Let's see, the way the light's shining here, it might be a little hard to see. Let's see if we can scan around here. There's a stainless steel microwave. Notice the detail work on the cabinets. Okay. Big kitchen, you could easily put a table inside here. Uh, there's a big space over there in the corner for the eating area with a, a light chandelier and that light does actually drop down lower to hang over a table. Uh, just like you see it here, uh, like I mentioned, all the appliances are included in this kitchen. Beautiful design. Alright, let's head back to the bedrooms. We'll just walk down the hallway here. And the first stop I'm going to make is in the master bedroom. Okay, again, everything's new. Brand new carpet, brand new paint. Brand new doors, all right? Brand new um, uh, trim has been repainted. Some of the trim has been replaced, the door jams, okay? Everything's new. Uh, new flooring in the master bath. Notice again, we went with the similar uh, cherry look on the vanities and the medicine cabinet. Uh, everything in here has been redone. It's basically a brand new bathroom. Okay, good size master bedroom. Over here we have a walk-in closet. The light is not turned on in here. I'm not going to look for the switch right now, but it's a good size walk-in closet. And then we have two additional bedrooms. Okay, this is bedroom number two, located here. Again, new white uh, six-panel doors. 
Here's bedroom number three. Same thing. Not a lot to mention in these bedrooms, but um, they're good size, and again, everything is brand new. Okay, and the uh, hall bath. This will be the second full bath. We've got a brand new vanity in top, large mirror, uh, which is also a medicine cabinet. These doors open. Uh, the center also opens. You've got plenty of storage in here. New light fixture. And uh, actually, we did not do a whole lot in this bathroom. Uh, this does have the original tub uh, and commode. There just wasn't anything to fix in here. So we put in a new vanity and a uh, medicine cabinet, but pretty much left the rest of it alone. Okay, let's go on down to the downstairs and I'll point out some things for you. Uh, as we're headed down here, I also would like to mention this house has a brand new furnace, brand new hot water heater. Okay, those were replaced when we did the basement. And uh, this basement is huge. Okay, it's like having another family room down in the lower level. Okay, you could easily put a game room down here. Uh, this could be a TV room with surround sound. Uh, you know, whatever you wanted to set up down here. It's a large space. Uh, this door here is just simply enclosing the water meter. Okay, that's all it's there for. And you can see this is a concrete block foundation. Let's scan around here. Okay. Uh, there's two doors down here. This one takes you into the furnace room. Now this is very dark in here. You're not going to be able to see anything and I don't see the light. It must be on the other side. But uh, just to tell you real quickly, like I said, brand new furnace. Uh, we had the duct work cleaned. Uh, everything is just like new down here. The mechanicals, you're going to have no worries whatsoever. These windows in the basement let in plenty of light. A lot of basements are dark and dingy, and this one's really bright down here. And again, this side, uh, this is storage area in the basement. Again, the lights are not on, and I'm not going to be able to show you that right now, but uh, there's plenty of storage in there. Okay, let's head back upstairs, and we'll summarize. Okay, once again, this is 850 North Hill Road in Pickerington. Um, it does have a first floor laundry, which I'm skipping that room because the contractor still has a few things there that he needs to pick up. Uh, also, the two-car garage is still full of some uh, lumber and materials and things that need to be cleaned out. So I'm not going to take a picture of that right now. But uh, this is definitely a property that's a must-see. It's worry-free. Everything's brand new. Uh, the price is very low compared to other properties in Pickerington. And you definitely want to add this to your list as you're out looking at homes. Uh, if you have any questions and you want to see this property, you're not working with a realtor, give me a call. My name again is Scott Marvin. You can reach me at 614-581-9497. With that said, have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon.